Hi guys, welcome back to Honeybee's Hive. I'm Honeybee. So, I spent the day painting my, um, my Invita silicone baby. So, sorry about the sirens. <sighs> okay, so, I don't know how I'm supposed to do this outside, but they said to do it outside. So, this is what I'm going to do. I have my mask on. Oh, looks good. Okay, so I've already painted her some. Um, doing this. This portion of it. I will do a before and after. I don't know. I like it. The color that she is right now, I like it. Oh, yeah. I think I do. I don't know. There's a bunch of them. Um, Sirens. I don't know what's going on. So I don't some sort of micro powder blend. Oh yeah, I am liking her. She is really looking good, mad it. I had been trying, um, I think I'm gonna go back and finish my Henry. Henry's like about 22 inches, also from, um, from Invita. So, guys, I don't think you got to see him. He's an older baby. I didn't go too dark. I added a couple of um, brown, you know, a, a couple of layers of brown. And I did some some layers of the what is it the the red blood or pig blood or whatever it is. And then I did some, some, um, some green. Okay, kids going down the street. They're going to be wondering what I'm doing. Thinking I got a naked baby out here. Hopefully not. She feels great too. Oh my goodness, she feels so good. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Hmm. Ooh, 
fingers are cold. I just can't. I don't know. It seems like the warmer it gets, the colder it gets. Because now right there, I think I didn't color it. I didn't get that green cold in. But that's okay. It's my first one. And plus I was like, I painted her all in one day. And I just wanted to get her done so I can see how she looks. I don't know, I was pretty excited. So, okay, so I think I got her all powdered up. Okay, so now I'm gonna take her inside. And um, yeah, I didn't waste a whole lot, so that was good. That was my whole point, but I like. Okay, so I'm gonna take her inside and I'll let you guys get a closer up look of her paint. Um, All right, right, so I got her. Sorry. All right, so I came back inside and I actually ended it up matting her again. Um, I added another sealer coat of, um, the A and B, and, um, y'all know what, my A and B, my, I think it's a B, the B had, like, bits and chocolate pieces in there, and I just bought this stuff, I don't know about that, hmm, yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, I had, yeah, the A is fine. The B had like bits and chunks, but I guess it's manageable. I think I did better this go round. Um, way better this go round. Oh my goodness. If you can see. But, yeah, I did much better this time. Um, still not perfect, not great. Um, what I'm about to go do now is go get her cleaned up, get her washed up, and then I'll bring her back, and you can look at the details. Okay? So, she's been mad at twice. Because like I said, I had to come back in. After I matted her, I was like, you know what? I need to do one more thing. And I did. I did a, put another sealer on her. Um, she's been sitting here for a moment. And I am just overly excited. I've been working on her all day. So, um, and then I realized I don't have any eyes for her. So... And I'll look some more, but I don't think I have any eyes for her. So I think she's probably about a 20 millimeter. So I'm going to have to um, go and order some eyes for her. I was going through these and this one seems to fit her best. And like I said, I believe that's a 20. My 22s are too big. Um, yeah, let's try 22. 22 is too big. So, looks like she's about that one. I may have some of these running around here somewhere. I'm sure. I'm sure I do. But, I just don't like those. They look too plastic. But, this is my Vita. Um, I don't know what this, what this gulped is named but this was the last one that I got um silicone and I did a box opening of her I I believe I got her on Ally Express so I'll be back and I'll talk to you some more about what I've done and uh, you know where I can see 
I should have done, I should not have done. But yeah, this was a rush job too. Remember that as well. I wanted her done uh, pretty much. Overly excited. You know how you want something really bad. And you just, you want it. So, and I'm also going to show you Henry, who I had been working on too. And I just gave up because I just could not get it right. So I ended up having to do more research. But anyway, I'll get into that in a minute, okay? So I'll be right back. Let me go get her cleaned up. And then uh, we can look at her more in detail, okay? My apologies. I didn't realize I had the lamp covering her up. So I moved the lamp around so that you can so you so that you could see, okay? But be right back. So here she is in my little sink. So, you can see a little bit of her. I got the unpainted version of her. So, this, like I said, I think I did okay, you know. I mean, for my first one, yeah, I think I did pretty okay. So, let me finish getting her cleaned up. All right, so I went and got baby Henry. Um, baby Henry was, I got him a while ago and I've been practicing and trying to get him painted, but I wasn't very successful. He's not finished yet, but now that I've done more research and I think I understand a little bit more, I want to go ahead and get him finished. Now, this one right here, um, she just had her bath, and she feels really good. Um, putting my little glasses on. And she feels really, really good, guys. I love the way this feels. So I matted her a couple of times with this. And I'll just put that. That's what she got matted with. And um, and I used my my silk pigs. And I used um, A and B. I used what are they? So all I did was use my A and B. Um, smooth on so same brands of a and b and same brand of silk pig paint and they come like in a tube so they come like in a tube and all of this stuff i purchased like on amazon so see i did this earlier this red i gotta clean that off yeah, I did this earlier, and I got it on the back of her head. So let me go touching stuff before I get paint on her. I don't want to do that. So now I gotta find something to clean my hand. So I don't want to touch her with paint on my hand. So let me clean my hand real quick. And let me tell you about, so, um, okay, so this is what I did. I got her, I painted her in one day, so this is, no, this is a rush paint job. Um, yeah, about, yeah, I just kind of spent all day painting on her. Um, started yesterday, um, yeah, started yesterday, and I spent the night, well, yeah, yeah, yesterday because I could, I had screwed up my meds and um, I couldn't take them again that night. So I was up all night. So I was like, well, now as good as a time as any to start painting her. And that's what I did. So um, I had been working on her all day, you know, and I love this A and B solution for the psycho paint. That's the psycho paint. 
is because it dries really fast, cures fast. And I love that. Because the I had gotten some other stuff, and now I'm paying attention. And this stuff right here is good stuff too. But it takes 24 hours to to cure. So that's too long. And I was wondering why I was not why it was taking forever. Now this is what I used on baby Henry over here. Um, and yeah, I just didn't understand that different ones take a little bit longer to cure. And this stuff right here takes 24 hours. So that is a long time to be trying to paint something. That will take you days. Uh, and yeah, so that's why I went wrong there. Um, yeah. So this time I did more research before I started painting her. And, um, goodness gracious. Okay. So I understood that. Different curing times. I also had went and got this in anticipation of thinking that this was a problem. But this was not just, this was not the problem. Oof. Um, the problem was my A and B solution taking forever to, to cure. So, here we are. Let me show you my baby girl. So, um, she's got like... I'm picking up some stuff on her. I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm picking up some stuff, but it comes right. Oh, wait a minute. That was already on there. Eh, okay. She's got a skin tag. That's okay. Uh, everything else, she looks fine. I like this stuff, that matting stuff, because she feels good. She feels really, really good. Um, yeah, when I was in here painting her, I mean, I was like painting, we were painting, I was painting like New Jack City style, um, you know, Breaking Bad style, because I had my, I, I was like, I would come in here, um, I'd wash my hands, I wash my hands so many times. I wash my hands from up to here, up to here. And like I'm a surgeon, and then I'll come in here and paint. Um, yeah, there were some spots, and now I know because like I have some paint built up right there on her in on her crease of her leg. So I won't show you that because. And then like oh here on the side. So next time I want to focus in on making um, on her on the sides because. When I would, I couldn't, I was going so fast, you know, and I really wasn't doing too much paying attention to details. Um, and what I should have, what, what I will do next time is focus more on, well, this is some things that, I mean, this is my first one. So now I know what to focus in on was things that I've missed. So that's why I'm looking at her right now. And one of those things is the side um where the creases are because you because i i would paint one side let it cure flip her over and then paint the other side well somehow i missed the whole because i know what i was thinking i was thinking that i got this on the front side or i would be thinking when i'm doing the front side that i got it on the back side and yeah did not get it so what i'm doing now is i'm just um i don't know i'm a picker so i'm picking um, I like the, I did, I like, I like the way I did this, 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 this nipple on this chest. This one's okay. It's fine. Um, they're not the same size, which is fine too, I guess. I like her belly button. Um, I only worked with a few colors. Um, I didn't do blues. I did greens and I did, um, 
blushings of pinks and red um mostly re like a re like, yeah red because i did i did research and i understood that um that the blushing and i, and I tested it too because first i used the pig the red pig what is it the red pig blood red yeah blood red blood red um was getting was too much like brown so i went with a more red um more of a red color to do her blushing and i like the way it came out it was a like you know so what i will do is yeah because she's starting to pick up stuff off my table hmm Everything to take a lot because I had her on I had her on on cellophane cellophane, cellophane when I was painting so because I didn't want to like I said I didn't want to pick up any lint I didn't want anything floating in the air I didn't, I wouldn't even let the dogs in here um, my son wasn't even allowed to come in here no one was allowed to come in here so let's flip her over so you can see her back um so I put, you know, I did blushing on her boutoir. I love her blushing, though. I really do. Um, I'm going to have to powder her down to get some of this. Because she's starting to pick up stuff. <laughs> but it's not bad because she's not sticky at all. She feels amazingly good. Real soft. Um, I don't know, like a baby skin. I like it. So, um, maybe not so much because I saw these, I did, I emphasized creasing in here. What I should have done is add more like red around here, around here, um, maybe some more red up here by the collarbone. Um, that's a collarbone call. I keep saying that by the shoulder blades. I do know the difference. But yeah, um, yeah, I need to put, oh, I, more, more blushing up here and I'm going to look at some more videos and see what other colors I need because I know I didn't do yellow because I wasn't for sure, but now I'm looking, I should have added me some yellow in here. Um, uh, that would have been nice. But yeah, I kept it very basic. So I will do more. I will go back and try again with Henry. Um, one more go round. <laughs> so um, let me take, let you take a look. I love her skin tone. She's like a medium. I believe she's like a medium skin tone. Is what she would be considered. So. I didn't do any nail tipping or anything like that. Um, I did do a little bit of um, blushing and veining on the bottom of the soles and in the hands. But yeah. I do like this color for her. Um, she did lighten up a little bit. She was a little bit darker. Um, a little more my skin tone. It looks like she lightened up a little bit. But that's okay too. Yeah, she was kind of darker than me a little bit. And I was like, huh. I was trying to match my skin tone. But then I was like, okay, that'll be fine. Because I know that they're supposed to lighten up. Yeah, she lightened up a bit. Um, and even like here, I like that too. Because I tried not to be so um, so uniform with my coloring, colors and stuff. But I do like the way this arm came out. I like that. Um, it's a learning process. Um, I like the way her face came out. I probably, next time, would do more um, blushing on the nostrils. I like the way her mouth came out. Um, yeah, I love the way her mouth came out. I opened both mouths um, so that they could take a full pacifier. Her, 
Hers is open too. See? It's just open. That's all. She would probably need a small pacifier because I didn't really open it up. She has a little mouth. Um, so I'll probably get her infant pacifier, a um, newborn or premium pacifier. I do have some, matter of fact. And um, her neck is fine, no peeling, whereas baby Henry's neck completely peeled off. Uh, the back of her neck, I mean, everything came out. Oh, there's that pink mark. That was a red mark I was telling y'all about. I had gotten red, red, um, the, the, um, red, <laughs> oh my goodness, red silk pig, um, uh, on my fingers. And I got, I had touched them. And I had, he had red light. Well, she had red everywhere, and I had to wipe all that off. And it did. You just get a napkin and wipe it off or a paper towel or something. So, I do like it. Yeah, I do. I like the way, I like the way it came out. I like her skin. So soft, guys. So, I was trying to find her some eyes, but I don't have any eyes. So, I'm going to have to order some eyes. I tried her at 22s. 22s did not fit. They were too big. And kind of stretched her eye. I didn't like that. So, what I am going to do is go ahead and start rooting on her. But I'm also rooting on the other baby, too. So, but I will start rooting on her, too. Um, uh, I don't know. Maybe right I don't know. I don't know how much. I probably would just root her some eyelashes and some eyebrows um, for now. Put a bonnet on her head or something and until I finish my other baby. And then I will start rooting on her. But anyway, I just want to share this with you guys. Um, bring out baby Henry for y'all to see. Cause I don't think you guys have ever seen baby Henry. Yeah, I don't think you guys have ever seen him. Um, he needs a bath. He's been wrapped up in a in a towel, um, and he's accumulated all kinds of lint on him right now. Not terrible, but he's got a little lint on him, and she's getting it. So let me get him. scoot away. Now scoot away from baby Henry. He's got lint. He's lint catchy. He's a lint catcher. <laughs> Look, isn't she jiggly? Isn't that cool? Okay, yeah, sorry. I play too much, but <laughs> she's so she's so bouncy. I love her. But she is pretty cool though. Look at her belly button. Yeah, I like her. I like her. I like her face too. I'll let you see real good. There you go. Oh yeah, I do. I love the way she feels. I really, 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 really do. So let me get her some eyelashes and some eyebrows and um order her eyes and um that's it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I love you. Toodles. Peace.